friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis the people has dilated quite well by this time all the incisions have been made and now the anterior capsule of this cataract will be stained with triparn blue dye underneath this air bubble when we apply the dye underneath an air bubble the staining is very quick if we apply the dye in aqueous we have to wait for about 20 to 30 seconds but here the staining is immediate see if we wash the dye out we can see there is very good staining this is real time and we can see this is very good staining in just seven to eight seconds and now two percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is filled up with this visco and then a uterator forceps is taken the tip of the uterator scratches the capsule and raises a capsular tag Hold the capsular tag and guide the tag in such a way that we get a fairly round axis remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the people. But here in this case as I came to 3 o'clock the capsule tends to go to periphery. So I hold the capsular tag and make some jerky pulls in this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this way, the capsule has been brought to the track. Now, BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim. The nucleus is mobilized. The nucleus is tapped. The fluid behind the lens comes out along the equator there should not be fluid build up behind the lens visco is injected and now the tip of the feco needle goes with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated and you can see this is a soft cataract the nucleus is rotated clockwise and anticlockwise few times. This will facilitate aspiration of cortex in the later part of the surgery. And now, direct shove. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. The nucleus is held firmly and it is chopped into two halves. Now, as I try to hold this hemineucleus, see there's a pit in front I could not hold it so let it be like this I come to the other hemineucleus hold it and chop it into two fragments the cataract is soft and if we try to hold soft pieces sometimes we just eat off the lens matter in front we cannot catch hold of the nucleus in such cases we have to employ other techniques in this case the nuclear pieces were just lifted up and the last piece just tumbled and came to the FECO tip this is a large piece of epinucleus it is lifted up with the chopper and it is removed and now there is lot of cortex just have to remove these cortex I'm injecting some visco in the anterior chamber and by the time my assistant gets ready with the bimanual irrigation aspiration I take the Simcoe cannula attached to a separate glass bottle separate BSS bottle and now most of the cortex except the sub incisional cortex and the cortex at 10 o'clock remains 
Now I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration. The irrigating probe will be used to remove the cortex sticking to the posterior capsule here near 5 o'clock. Yes, just by the fluid jet it gets displaced and the posterior capsule is polished very nicely. We can call this is hydro polish. And now irrigation and aspiration together is being used to remove the subincisional cortex and the cortex from 10 o'clock. Yes, it is done. So cortical cleanup has been very satisfactory in this case. And now, in this case, visco is being used for implantation of the intraocular lens. SPMC fills off the capsular bag, fills up the anterior chamber, and now a hydrophobic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Johnson and Johnson. This is sensor one is being implanted in the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag but the trailing haptic remains at the incision, at the main incision. I take Sinsky hook to push it into the anterior chamber and then the chopper depresses the haptic optic junction and the lens goes into the capsular bag. The lens is dialed to place the haptics at 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock positions. And now, thorough cleaning of the visco is done. The antechamber is irrigated very nicely so that most of the cortex comes out just by irrigation. The antechamber, antechamber angle is irrigated and then the lens is pushed little downward and the capsular bag is irrigated very nicely. The probe, irrigating probe goes behind the intraocular lens and irrigates the capsular bag. Most of the visco from the capsular bag comes out through the irrigation. Now irrigation and aspiration is used together to remove the last portion of the visco. Thorough cleaning of visco is very much necessary to avoid post-op rise of intraocular pressure. Retained visco can cause high rise of intraocular pressure, can cause steamy corneal edema. The patient becomes very uncomfortable because of the retained visco. This is moxifloxacin. The side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with a 27 gauze cannula and BSS. Corneal stroma on either side of the side ports are hydrated. The lips of the side port wounds become thick and they get nicely opposed. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time any visco remaining remaining on the back surface of the cornea is removed. The antechamber is nicely washed, the antechamber is nicely formed and then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. We are going through a very tough time. COVID-19 pandemic has devastated the whole world. We have just come back to routine surgeries after about two months in India. So this is a really tough time. But we have to overcome this tough time. We have to come back to normal life. Thank you very much for your attention.